Well, everyone, you might be trying to figure out whether you should keep AirDrop on or you should keep AirDrop off. Now, what even is AirDrop? Well, AirDrop is basically that little feature inside of our iPhones and iPads and Macs that basically allow us to go ahead and transfer files pretty quickly, you know, over Wi-Fi and Bluetooth at a super fast rate. And it's super convenient because if you're trying to go ahead and quickly send a file to your friends or to somebody else or whatever the case is, you can basically send them out and it's a super easy thing. And if you're transferring really big files, it might be easier for you to just send them this way rather than sending them via email or uploading them to like Google Drive or something and then going down that direction. So I think this is a very, very smart thing that Apple made. But should you always keep AirDrop on or should you, you know, sometimes turn it off or should you turn it on when you need to? And this is what I'll tell you. There really isn't any you know, specific reason why you'd want to keep it on all the time, unless you are getting files transferred for you. Now, this is different than Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. So keeping your Wi-Fi on or Bluetooth on, there, you know, there are a lot of Apple accessories and lots of Apple, you know, related things that kind of require you to basically have your specific, you know, Wi-Fi on or your Bluetooth on in order for these things to work. So think of things like your Apple Watch or some other Apple accessory, you know, so uploading things to iCloud, whatever. Like if you have your Bluetooth off, a lot of those things won't be able to be turned on. So even AirDrop's not going to work without Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on. So that's a big thing to keep in mind here. However, with that being said, with a device, when you have AirDrop off, you can basically get you basically do get a few things turned off now within iOS 17. So name drop is not going to work. If you're trying to file transfer by touching two iPhones together, those things will not work either if AirDrop is completely turned off. So nowadays it's a little bit more interesting. Beyond than just the file transferring thing, if you want to use things like name drop and if you want to use things like that file transfer, whatever, well, you're not going to be able to do that if you have AirDrop turned off. But when you have AirDrop turned on, this is a little bit of a different situation. So for one, the big thing is you can lose a little tiny bit of battery life just because having this type of feature on will probably if it's always on will take a little bit of battery life out it's not going to be that big of a deal but it could be something noticeable if it's like a big deal to you if you're noticing your battery life it may be worth it just to turn it off from that perspective from a security standpoint as well although apple has kind of converted a few things where you can only go ahead and have airdrop on for like 10 minutes at a time for everyone before if you have an older iphone that feature is not there so if you are enabling AirDrop or if you do have AirDrop turned on, this can be a massive thing where some people may not actually like because if you actually have AirDrop turned on, random people can send you, you know, files, random people can send you images or things like that, text, random, random weird stuff that you may not even like, that you may not even want to have. So if that is an alarming thing to you, if that is something that's actually worth, you know, that's concerning to you, then maybe you don't want to actually go ahead and, you know, leave AirDrop on. That can be something that can be really, really big deal to you. So I'd recommend for those most people to basically keep airdrop off. So keeping airdrop on has a lots of features. You know, you can go ahead and use name drop. You can go ahead and use the file transfer and you can go ahead and transfer files and you can transfer files wirelessly from your device to other devices, which is actually a really, really cool thing. But keeping airdrop turned on all the time can be a little bit of a, you know, weird situation. You may not always want to keep it turned on all the time. If it's, you know, your particular device, if you care about the security of your phone and all those other things, keeping it off may be the best thing to do, especially if you have an older iPhone. The best thing to do is just to keep AirDrop on for contacts only. That would probably be the best thing to do rather than keeping it on for everyone or everyone for 10 minutes. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button on me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.